Peace, kings and queens, guys and goddesses. Welcome back to another reading. I pray you're well. Make sure you like up on this video as it truly helps the channel grow. If you have not already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. This will be a collective general reading. So please do not force it to fit. And whatever resonates, please take heed to the message. Any information you need about me, from me, um, regarding a reading, consultation, please check the description box below. If you would like to donate to the channel, that link is below as well. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up. It's very easy. It's very simple. It's free. And it's appreciated. All right. So let's go ahead and hop in and see what the message is for you all today. Holy Divine Spirit Universe Source. All right. So you have surrender to receiving support and love. Surrender to inner peace. Surrender to spirit. Ashe, at the bottom of the deck, surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your body. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Ashe. And then we have allow the love and support of others in. Rather than trying to, or attempting to handle everything yourself, this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in a quiet meditative moments. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic. Ashe, I really love that. So right now it's time to surrender to passion. Open your heart to receive love and support. Surrender to that inner peace within. This is letting your inner self live, your inner child free, all right? Embrace the intuitive nature of your higher self, okay? Once you've done all you can do to achieve a goal, Ashe, just give it over to God, all right? Just give it over to God, all right? Let's see what else. Let's see what else you need to know. All right, so for some of you guys, it's time to face your fears. So some of you guys, you may have a fear of receiving love, receiving support. You may have a fear of embracing your, your inner peace. Some Somebody is used to chaos or turmoil or trauma or, you know, things like that. It's time to surrender to your fear. All right, it's okay to be in a blissful and peaceful state. It's it's very much okay. Get someone to help com confirming the surrender to receiving love and support. All right, so some of you guys may need to delegate or you have a fear of delegating. You have a fear of letting other people into what you're cultivating, what you're creating, what you hold near and dear to your heart okay but that goes with surrendering to, surrendering to that inner peace and connecting with your higher self and strengthening that intuition and that discernment okay you have they're insecure so there's someone around you that may be insecure or you could be dealing with some insecurity issues at this time all right, this is what is bringing about some sort of fear in your life, okay? 
Some of you guys may be insecure about your work or your project or your gifts or your goals. And you're afraid to let people in because you don't want certain opinions or advice um, interfering with what it is that you're creating, okay? Maybe you don't feel as good enough, but you have to believe in it first. I'm pretty sure, I'm quite sure, I'm for sure that just as much as you love something and you believe in something and it shows, other people are going to love it, if not more, just as much. Don't show your hand. You've got tricks, tricks up your sleeve, okay? And then this is divinely orchestrated. So for some of you guys, it definitely is time to pass the baton over to the Most High. You've done your part in this marathon. Now it's time to turn it over here. You have express your creativity, open your sacral chakra, all right? You have this will move you forward. You're thinking too much here. All right. Some of you guys need to just let something flow. You could be an overthinker here. Yeah, you have marinade on it. So there's something that has already cooked. It's cooked. It's ready to go. It's ready to be taken off the stove. What's up? All right. It's time to serve it up. All right. <laughs> I am hearing that song. Okay. Lastly, you have a major life change here. All right, so major life change that is divinely orchestrated. Mm. It's time to surrender to the truth and there's nothing to fear and no one can stop you. Mm, I love this deck, all right? So let's see here. My beautiful kings and queens, emperors and empresses. Source, how can the collective surrender to support and love? How can they surrender to receiving this support and this love, please? <laughs> All right, so you got the Ten of Swords reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. The Three of Cups, that is support. That can speak about community, friends, family, celebration. And you got the King of Swords. So this is something about like letting your hair down. All right. Just because you decide to have a little fun, just because you decide to, you know, go out, celebrate the small wins, the victories, um, the progress. All right. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is you being at a steady pace consistently, okay? And this is small wins in between this, this, this path to progression here, okay? The knight, um, the king of swords is someone who's very stoic, but they're also very logical, intelligent, and when this person speaks, they have something to say. So there's someone that, oops, there's someone that source is saying, hey, there's good counsel here. This could also have something to do with healed, be, being healed from betrayal, all right, from conflict, from combat, from battle, from disagreements and discord here, okay? overcoming that so this could also be a fear for some of you receiving support and love because you may have in the past and it did not go well so now you could be at a at a, at a place to where you're moving cautiously yet thoroughly you're paying close attention to things you're being careful who you hang out with who you break bread with who you have a, a drink with who you sip your tea with Okay, who you fraternize with just all together. You're very observant and astute about who and what 
surround you at this time. And with that does come with the ability to be able to say, hey, you know what? I see something in you. I see that you are an asset to me in my life as a friend, as a partner, as a family member, whatever. And I feel like it's something about you that is causing people to straighten up, okay? I just got a vision of somebody straightening up their tie here. So maybe becoming a bit less rigid here. The high priestess is here. So that speaks heavily about your intuition and you have the eight of wands. So, you know, you don't have to show all your cards. What did it say? It says, don't show all your hands. You have tricks up, up your sleeve. That is the high priestess. The high priestess knows a lot, very knowledgeable energy. Okay. This is a, basically a walking Oracle here. Okay. And it's safe to say when, when communication comes in, messages, text messages, whatever it may be, when it comes in, you're like this filter to filter out. Is this person being authentic? Is this person being genuine? Does this person truly have my best interest at heart? Can I trust this person to support and love me? Can I trust that this person won't just up and run when things get difficult or get hard or I don't do something that they don't like or I do something that they don't like, right? Because there's a lot of conditional people out here and I do understand dealing with people that are of your caliber and not wanting to be around certain energies that don't serve you. That's one thing. Another thing is judgment judging people because at the end of the day i feel like people who are quick to run from something that they feel is beneath them they really don't trust themselves and i feel like right now building a very strong sense of self will allow you to open up and surrender to receiving support and love um tell me more about surrendering to this inner peace for the collective here Mm-hmm. You got the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So feeling guilty, this is like survivor's remorse, or this is an energy around, again, you may have been somebody raised in chaos, or you're just used to turmoil, you're used to drama, you're used to arguing and fighting. Not maybe you per se, but you're used to being in that sort of environment. And so when you come to a place to where, okay, now it's time to center myself, ground myself, connect with the inner core of who I am, there may be this guilt that creeps in because there's still individuals outside of you who just may not seem to be able to get it together themselves. And then so you throw out that that raft or that that safety net to want to bring others in but they have to do the work just as you did. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with some sort of deep regret or guilt or shame here. What is this nine of swords? The temperance in reverse. Disharmony, discord imbalance very high tempered so this is very significant so this may be a challenge for you guys like right now in this time space and reality you're you're working on surrendering to this inner peace because maybe you are the type of person that can be reactive somewhat volatile or belligerent you go off the handle like you may have a short temper here and it's time to search for that inner peace that's deep within it's, it's not outside of you and that may be where this guilt or this shame is coming from or this 
this sense of anxiety or fear is coming from because you're searching for it outside of yourself. You're searching for it in other people and then when it's not given to you, you're upset. You have to go within. You could be a Sagittarius dealing with the Sagittarius or you can have Sagittarius in your beautiful chart. You got the page of swords. So this is research. This is this is looking into something. So doing your research on inner peace, how to center yourself, how to ground yourself, okay? How to become more in tune with your body, okay? Something about the, the temperature of your body being very hot. Not just you as a person being quick to fly off the handle, but literally your body temperature. Someone could be dealing with a fever right now or the... Or this is getting to a point to where if you're not able to handle your temperament, this is going to start affecting your health. Some of you guys, you may have to really dig deep and dive into the holistic side of things as it pertains to your temper because you may be developing some sort of uh, high blood pressure here. It's just not good for you. You got the queen of wands. So you could definitely be a fire sign, but that is, that is confidence. That's willpower. This is standing in your truth, being powerful, being ambitious, being someone who's a self-starter and goes for what they know and goes for what they want. And if this is something that you really want, is this inner peace and to be able to control your temper, then that is what you need to go for. You have to do the work, okay? You have the willpower and the tenacity to do it. For some of you guys, you're a natural researcher or you're, you're someone who is naturally uh, created to investigate. Why not start with yourself? What's the Queen of Wands? The Empress. Okay, beautiful. Taurus, Libra. So some of you guys, in order to ground yourself or surrender to this inner peace or how you may be able to do that, there may be a direct connection to your mother here. Or if you are a mother, there may be a direct connection to your children. Your children may be the ones that can assist you with grounding yourself and finding this inner peace, surrendering to this inner peace. You deserve this. You are made for this. Okay, you're, you're supposed to live a life of peace and bliss, serenity and tranquil and tranquility very abundant very resourceful a teacher a leader someone who is meant to attract okay so attracting this inner peace not forcing something, especially when you find out where it comes from and where it dwells, it's going to be easier for you to attract this here because it's already within you. It's just up to you to obtain it by doing the work. Surrender to spirit. Give me more here. You got the emperor, Aries. You could be Scorpio, Taurus. Sometimes I also see that energy. So this is someone who is very domineering. This is somebody who has a sense of direction, very organized, determined, dedicated, and steadfast. This is somebody who knows where they're going and they know how to get there. Show me the emperor. 
So you have been put in position here by the most high. Some of you guys are literally working side by side with the divine here. With the strength and the upright, I love this because now you are you are gaining control of yourself, of this temper, of this sense of imbalance, disharmony. Some of you guys could be in separation from your partner, especially with the temperance reverse. That could also speak about something that was unrequited. All right. Six of Pentacles. Now something is, you know, it's balanced, it's equally yoked, it's give and take, it's reciprocity here. No one's getting the short end of the stick now because the individuals are finding out what they've always wanted is within. And it's to obtain that and bring it out so that the two individuals can connect, create, and cultivate externally here. The tower, divine intervention now. Surrender to spirit because you could have been attempting to do something on your own, especially when it comes to a partnership. You could have been attempting to work something out on your own. Ah, we don't need counseling. We don't need therapy. We don't need anybody in our business. Blah, 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 blah. And source is like, no, actually you do. Or else this is going down. This definitely is either a divorce, a separation, or considering divorce. This could definitely be a separation because with the with the empress and the emperor and the upright, you guys are still in good standing. So there's still, you know, the faith is still very much strong and present in this connection. Yeah, you got the chariot and you got the hermit. So moving forward towards a spiritual awakening, a spiritual journey, deepening your, your spirituality here. Yeah, you got the three of wands. Somebody's seeing this tower coming. So I hear somebody saying, if I don't get my ish together, this is going down. Or you're having this conversation with someone or with your partner or with yourself. I see two people coming together simultaneously and secret and secret uh, simultaneously at, I'm I'm saying at the same time together so simultaneous simultaneously synchronicity <laughs> Ooh, I just heard sanctuary Show me the tower really quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got the hangman reverse coming out of stagnancy. The lover. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Reconciling. Something is ordained. I keep, I'm hearing ordained. Whoa. I don't know why these cards want to fall. Five of Pentacles, two of Cups. This is definitely a soulmate twin flame connection, however you want to look at it. A kingdom spouse here, but it has gone through some issues, maybe financially. There could have been a, a tower in the finances that may have created some sort of hiccup, but spirit is saying surrender to the divine. Yes, you got the, wow, listen, you got the hairy font, you got the ten of wands and the sun. S surrender. Yeah, because if you decide to go outside of this connection, if you feel like, hey, I don't want to go 
and deal with somebody else, meet somebody new, two of cups that may give you the same sense of feeling, emotions, whatever it may have been when you met your emperor or empress, the love of your life, this is going to be temporary. This is going to be temporary. Okay. Give me something here for this two of cups because I see somebody meeting someone in, during a separation here. Somebody may be living with somebody temporarily. Somebody may have been, you know, put out. That This is not the time for you to be connecting with other people romantically and getting all involved and having sex and doing the most. So this is the time you need to be uh, catering to God, surrendering to God, building a deeper relationship to God. So when you and your spouse return to each other, you know where your strength comes from. You're not, you're not going back into a situation weaker than what you left. That is what this situation is going to do if that's what you decide to do. That's when the devil comes in, okay? I don't trust this connection here with the five of pentacles. This person is in need. Show me the two of pentacles or the two of cups. Okay, they just going to become a burden. Listen, the hairy font reverse. A Taurus could definitely be a Taurus with the five of pentacles as well, but this is not ordained. This is not what spirit wants you to do in this time of separation if you're separated. This is a distraction. This is somebody who is coming in to use you because they're in poverty. They're weak. This is going to be a trauma bonding moment. So... Yeah, I don't suggest that you do it. Yeah, King of Cups, Eight of Swords, you're going to find yourself stuck in a situation you cannot get yourself out of, just period, okay? So that's what I have, my loves. I truly, truly pray it helps. Like this video before you go, and I will check you out on the next one. Peace. Bye.